In your public and academic work, you highlight the need for reform among Muslim Americans. Can you elaborate on what you mean and how this could be accomplished? So in my, in my mind, the reform that's required is a reform of the paradigmatic orientation of the young person to their understanding of Islam, to their understanding of what is authoritative in Islam, and how a discourse can come about that yields for young people around the world a Muslim identity um, that comports with modernity and is consistent with um, international standards of, of human rights and human dignity. Uh, and in my mind, um, that, that is the project uh, for Muslims in the West, primarily American Muslims. How do you start? By enhancing literacy, uh, by making sure that people understand the complexity of concepts, by making sure that um, young people at universities and at mosques um, have people that they can go to for questions that have more depth than uh, a reactionary, defensive uh, posture. Um, I think it also comes about when we bring concepts that come from other domains other than the parochially Islamic domain. Like when we think about critical theory, when we think about emancipation, uh, revolution and rebellion, in the name of progress. Uh, these seem to me to be concepts that are needed among Muslims. And it's not a reformation in the sense of a Jewish reformation where we begin to categorize believers according to their practice reform orthodox conservative. Um, it's not a reformation like our Christian brothers where we begin to uh, redefine the scripture, where we begin to um, take books out in order to ensure a modern orientation. And it's also not a reform in which we are pushing back against the authority of a church uh, because there is no church-state separation in Islam, not because Governance is always Islamic, but because there is no church in Islam, there is no mosque, there is no established authority that says what Islam is and what Islam is not. There is only the critical thinking capacity of each individual to attain an understanding of Islam that allows them to act in a way that pleases God. And so I think when we begin to talk about reforming our understanding of this world, reforming our understanding of reality, reforming our understanding of the centrality of the self in the development of an Islamic ethos that is just for women and for Shia and for people who do not yield to the dominant normative approach to identity. Um, I, I think that can only come about if there's a revolutionary experience among young Muslims in America. And I think that revolution is a revolution of literacy uh, in, in how we change society uh, and how we engage Islam.